Hello and welcome to my week three introduction to music production assignment video. I'm going to be demonstrating the submix practical using my own song in Logic Pro 9. So I'm going to be showing you a configuration of a submix within a DAW environment. And what this is really good for is when you want to use multiple tracks and control them with just one fader. And this is really good for drums or string sections, things like that. So here I've got some drum tracks, and you can see I have a kick, snare, tom, uh, hi-hat mics, overheads, etc. And I've already got them all balanced out between each other, and I'm really happy with the balance of them. So I want to actually just be able to control them with one fader instead of having to highlight each of these all together just to bring up the volume of the overall drum kit. That becomes kind of a pain in a mixing situation when you have tons of tracks. So with them all highlighted like this, you can actually go to the output of any of the tracks and select, you can see that it's a stereo output right now, but you actually want to select a bus. And you can choose any bus here in this instance because I've already selected and created a bus, bus five for drums, I'm gonna choose that one. And so you can see within each of those tracks there, because they were highlighted when I did that, it has them all outputting to bus five now. So bus five is drums and here it is. So under one fader, So it's a great, easy, simple way to control the overall drum volume. Like I said, it's really good for horns or even guitars if you have multiple mics. Really pretty much anything. Uh, you can get pretty creative. And in this instance, I've actually even compressed the drum bus and put some reverb on there to give it a little bit more of a roomy sound and the, the compression gives a nice gluing effect. <laughs> So that sums up how to use a submix within a DIW. Hope this was a great help. Thank you very much for watching the video and to all the reviewers. Cheers.